What's up TDI world out there? Today I am, or I should say I did a, I replaced the rings in a piston and if you know or if you don't know when you replace the piston rings you must replace the connecting rod bolts and I also took out one main bearing cap to see how the bearings are and you must replace those bolts too. They are called stretch bolts or not called but they're stretch. The bolts get stretched. They're only used one time. Uh, you could reuse them but for $60 I don't want to find out or I don't want to get a hole in the block. So the procedure to do these I already replaced them but I'll give you a little tip how to do it. Very simple. Here's your connecting rod bolts. There's your main bearings. I only took one cap off, so I only replaced two. They are both 22 foot pounds. I'm not sure what that is in Newton meters. Uh, so 22 foot pounds for both. Okay. So what you do is when you do this, you take when you put this on, you put the bolts on and you tie them by hand just a little bit. Then you get yourself a torque wrench, this one happens to be an SK, they're decent, they're okay, and I don't have the right socket, it's actually down there, I only have one hand available right now, so you put this on, you turn it till it clicks, then you put this on, turn it till it clicks, so it hits 22 foot-pounds, then you go an additional 90 degrees, 90 degrees would be from here, okay, this is the front of the engine, from the motor or car and you turn it 90 degrees which would be with the tire additional that's it do the same thing for this one so 22 foot pounds and then additional 90 degrees that's for the connecting rods now for the main bearings same thing 22 foot pounds I won't hold that key because can't really see it that good and then once you put 20 you get it to 22 foot pounds on both bolts then you would go additional what is that 120 anyways you go the same thing 90 so from here you would go this way and then one more so pretty much you end up from from here okay like this you would end up can't turn my hand this way but you end up the other way so I think that's a 120 so from here you end up going around all the way here boom these are 90 these are 120 so this goes from here okay to right here main bearings from here you go one and then one more See, we do a half turn on bolt. That's it. Must replace if you take these out. Remember, if you don't, you're taking a chance they might break. I tried to reuse my old ones, which are right here, and when I tried to do the same procedure, which is 90 degrees on these that felt like they were gonna break. The reason why, because they're stretch bolts. You stretch them once, you cannot re stretch them again. If you try to re stretch them, you're putting a lot of stress between the threads and right here okay and that's it's gonna eventually probably break on you or you might be lucky and you won't break but these were original OEM that I replaced not these but the ones that's on the motor and those were I think three dollars uh, I'm gonna try and find a website where I got them from and I'll post it on the description so you guys can get them they're very cheap I think it was like $40 for all the bolts uh, which I think it's much better than um, having a hole in your block because the bolt breaks off your connecting rod so total here with shipping I got it the next day air or two days air so I paid $61 for everything plus shipping including and I got it in two days so yeah that's uh, about it if you decide to remove or replace the main bearings these you can do on a spot right here you don't even have to pull the pistons out 
but there's no reason to replace this. This motor had a half a million miles and I just happened to replace them because I replaced the piston rings and uh, because I they got seized up due to oil leak, uh, due to uh, running too much vegetable oil not without a second tank and seized up the piston rings and that was the reason why I had to replace them. Too much blow by, started losing compression so yeah if you replace these you could do it in the car the only thing is this right here you won't be able to take them out see there's no room get a little closer can't adjust this thing anyways right here there's no room so you must remove this uh, side aluminum cover it's not hard to remove it tie-in belt has to come out you can see there's a few bolts about six bolts or so and this thing will come out and you might have to replace the gasket to replace the main bearings but honestly if you change the oil on time this one has has almost close to half a million if not half a million miles and the main bearings are, are perfect the main uh, the connecting rods were not as good the reason why is because this, this is just spin in circle it also goes in oval as well so there's a lot of a lot more stress in the connecting rods uh, I don't know where I got the old ones. Well, let's see if I have them here. Okay, I happen to find the connecting rod, rod bearings. So just, these are the ones that have half a million miles on them okay now they're a little bit oxidated or corroded whatever you want to call it but here is the wear right here but it's still not bad obviously one's different than the other because it's probably off a different connecting rod but you can see how they look at half a million miles and the oil was changed. Well, I'm not the first owner, I'm the second owner. And I used to change it every uh, between five and 7,000 miles, depending how long I drive it or how much I idle with it. If I idle too much, I would uh, change the oil earlier. So yeah, these are the original bearings. They're fine. I did do a compression, not a compression test. Well, I did that too, but I also did a bearing or oil pressure test and he came out perfect as the book recommends I'm not sure what that is so yeah that's the bearings and these are the head bolts again these are you must replace the head bolts when you do a head gasket or internal motor work and you remove the head you must replace the bolts I'll tell you why I didn't replace them one time and I blew the head gasket. Not bad, but enough where I was burning any freeze to a point where, yeah, I had to keep on adding any freeze and I ended up taking the head back out, replacing the head gasket and putting brand new head bolts. These are again, stretch bolts, one time use. Do not reuse your old ones. And on that, that's about it. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, just uh, leave me a comment and don't forget to subscribe.